Hello, my name is Natasha. I'm with the Pasadena Public Library, and today I'll be showing you how to make café de olla. Now, what is café de olla? Café de olla is a traditional Mexican style of coffee. It is made in an olla, which is this here, which literally just means pot. So café de olla translates to coffee from the pot. Now an olla is a pot made of clay, typically glazed, comes in different sizes. They sometimes have lids, different patterns. Um, and while we'll be using one of these for our recipe today, because it's said to lend a kind of earthy flavor to the coffee, you can definitely just use a regular saucepan or pot to make one if you don't have one of these of your own. Now, if you're looking to buy an olla to make yourself uh, the café, then you want to look for one that has a unglazed bottom. You'll find sometimes uh, decorative ones that'll have the glaze on the bottom and you can't cook in those. So if you are going to be looking for one, just make sure it has an unglazed bottom and you should be good to go. Now, let me introduce you to the ingredients that we'll need. So first thing first is piloncillo. Now piloncillo, you can find them in cones, usually sold in bags. This one's individually wrapped, but they're usually sold in bags. You can sometimes find smaller ones. And what it is, it's a cone of unrefined whole cane sugar. Now it gives kind of a caramelly burnt flavor to the coffee. And it's what usually people associate when they think of cafe de olla. If you don't have this, you can substitute it with something like brown sugar or maybe a little bit of molasses, but I really encourage you to look for them. They're very inexpensive and you can usually find them in a Hispanic grocer or in your ethnic aisle and it's well worth the purchase. Secondly, you'll need cinnamon, another big flavor profile that goes with this coffee. Now I have two sticks of cinnamon here because I want to show you the different types of cinnamon. Now in Mexico, most people associate cinnamon with this type of cinnamon. Of course, cinnamon is called canela in Spanish. And this type of cinnamon is actually Ceylon. The one that we usually have here in the States that we're used to seeing for Christmas decorations and maybe ground is called cassia. And the way that you can tell the difference between the two is cassia is kind of darker and curled while Ceylon is kind of a papery, multi, kind of layered look. And this is what people consider true cinnamon. And when you think of uh, canela, this is what they're picturing. And it has a, a different flavor profile. It's very easy to find. Usually you find it in bags. And once you taste it, I mean, you, you'll know the difference. The last thing we'll be using is coffee. So I have just ground instant coffee here. And you can actually use whole beans ground if you want to use it the more traditional way. But I find it a little bit easier to use instant coffee because then you don't have to do the straining process to get the coffee grounds out. So we'll be using instant coffee today. Now, this is usually what you need for the traditional recipe. Although some people do have variations where they include things like cloves and you would use just a couple of cloves in your recipe. And some people like to use orange peel. I have some ground orange peel here. If you will be using those items, you would add them in in the same step that you would put in your cinnamon and piloncillo. All right, so now that we've got our ingredients, let's head to the stove and I'll show you what you need to do. Okay, so we're gonna be making a smaller serving, about four servings, in fact. And to do that, we're going to need four cups of water, which I've already poured in here, and you wanna get that to a boil. To do that, I'm gonna go ahead and cover this up. All right, so now that our water has come to a boil, we can go ahead and start adding our ingredients first as being the piloncillo. Also, our stick of cinnamon. 
Now the piloncillo, you'll want to use about three or four ounces, so one of those bigger cones is usually three or four ounces. I like mine sweeter, so I don't uh, break up the piloncillo. But if you would like a little bit less, you can always microwave it to soften it up and then break off however much you want. For the cinnamon, I just use one large stick. If you are using cloves or orange peels, now would be the time to add it as well. And basically, you're just going to want to stir and dissolve the piloncillo. All right, once your piloncillo has dissolved completely, you'll want to turn off your fire and add your coffee. If you're using ground coffee, you would add it, cover it, and remove it from the flame, let it steep for five minutes. If you're using instant coffee like I am, you can go ahead and just pour it in and stir until it is dissolved. Once your instant coffee has dissolved or your ground coffee has steeped, you're ready to serve it. Now, if you're using ground coffee, you will need to strain it to kind of get rid of the grounds. And some people also just like letting the coffee settle down at the bottom and then carefully only scooping up the top portion. But that's one of the reasons why I like using instant coffee so that I don't have to worry about that. There we go. Your house is gonna smell lovely, like the canela, the warm coffee, and the sweet piloncillo. I have my little Oya cup here. And this coffee is gonna be nicely sweetened you don't need to add anything else to it but some people do like to add things like milk or condensed milk although if you want to do that I would definitely recommend using a little bit less piloncillo so it's not overly sweet and there you have it thank you guys I hope you try it out and enjoy salud